Hey, what's up, my people? How you doing? My name is Dalton, and this is Dalton My World. Now, I got a story time for you. This happened uh, at the end of February 2022. Yeah, recently. All right, and here, here in Pittsburgh. All right, I'm shopping, right, and I'm minding my own business. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I'm a giant eagle, right? So I'm minding my own business. And lo and behold, here's this woman. I mean, I, I saw her from a distance, right? Here's this woman. She's about 5 foot 11, okay? And I kind of recognize her because I believe she's an IG model. That's an Instagram model, you know? Um, and or a TikTok model, okay. Now, <laughs> here's the deal I kind of recognized her, and she was kind of like either she's mixed, you know, half black, half white, Spanish, or she's white, just kind of tan skin. But she, you know, she had augmentations, which you know. That it's America. You can have any type of augmentation you need, you know. Uh, and she had breast augmentation, okay, where now she wasn't double D. She was literally E, okay. And you could tell she had butt surgery worked. But, hey, it's America. You can do what you want. So I'm minding my own business. <laughs> and I'm shopping. And she comes by... She comes down the aisle by me, right? She's staring at me, and I'm staring at her. She says hi, and I say hi, right? Fine. But trailing behind her is this troll. It's, uh, it's her girlfriend, who is uh, a dyke with Spike, okay? I mean, she's hardcore dyke, black chick, braids, you know, dressed strictly like a guy strictly gangster right so she decides to laugh at me as in saying you know this is mine you can touch you want to you know y'all know what I'm talking about and I'm like okay I don't want no part of this shit you know <laughs> excuse my language so I turn right turn around and go the opposite direction because they had slowed up Almost like waiting for me to come up there so they can do some more of this ignorant acting. All right. Bring me into their bubble world. Uh, so I turn around. I like, okay. Because I'm in my zone. I'm having a good time shopping, listening to my music. You know what I'm saying? Listening to my chill step. You know? Just having a good time shopping. You know? And I saw them pass. Okay. You know, the aisles. And I'm like, okay. Enough of that crap, you know. So I'm, I'm, I do some more shopping. And I go back back over to this area where you have, you know, the sausages and all that other stuff. Uh, you know, the post sausages and all that stuff. And, and John Eagle has great prices on it, right? So I go back over to the area. Lo and behold, it's not enough that I don't want to deal with them. Okay? And... <laughs> Her girlfriend, boyfriend, uh, her dyke girlfriend, you know, uh, decides to come back over. I don't know if she felt intimidated by me or something, but she decided to come back over to where I was. All the way over. Come up there and try to be gangster. Okay. And, like, brush up against me trying to show dominance and then walk off. You know, I'm just kind of like, really? And, and it's been like that this year, though. It's been like that. People just been trying to, for some reason, getting reactions out of me, you know? And I'm just kind of like, look, you know, you, you know, dyke, you dyke with Spike, can be with your girlfriend, do what you want, leave me out, leave me the hell out of it. And it's so weird, too, because it's kind of like, 
really you could not find another black guy to do this to. Okay, all the guys just gawking at you, all these, and you had some, you had some gangster brothers up in there at uh two that night chomping. Oh, you 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 can't go over and mess with them. You you're gonna come and have to mess with me. You know, I, it's just so you know. And I had a in the past, I had a friend. Uh, we're not friends in well. I mean, it's not like we cut off. We just grew apart. But uh, when I lived in Oklahoma, right. And she was bisexual. I'm gonna call her uh, Miss K. Okay, she was bisexual, but she would do some weird stuff like that too. She would drive up uh, with her girlfriend, you know, and she would see a guy in like a truck. This is Oklahoma, so. I'd see a guy in the truck, a car, and and kind of make eyes and you know, like, hey, you know, one of them would do that, and you know, make sure that it gets the guy's attention, and then she literally would start kissing her girlfriend. I'm I'm telling you, this this the, happened. This was a routine thing with her. She would literally start kissing her girlfriend, and she would flip the guy off in a car, truck, and drive off. She would do that. You know, and it's like, it's amazing that, you know, people, gay, straight, bi, you know, they they want people to have respect for them and have, and respect that they should be able to live a happy life. But the flip side of what you don't see is a lot of them sometimes bring innocent people into their drama like it's a Sp- Jerry Springer show, you know, when it's, so if you are that person that got drawn into some drama or something like that, you a man or woman, and you wonder how the hell did I get here? How did it all, it's not your fault. Okay. This is something these, a lot of people, games, a lot of people play, you know, it's not your fault. If you, if you got drawn into a, 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 a three way situation, where you know there's two guys and a girl, two girls and a guy, and you know, and you were in there. It's not your fault. Okay, <laughs> they know what they were doing. Okay, they just singled you out. Trust me. Uh, but I mean, I, it, it's just so ignorant and so annoying. You know when you, but you don't hear about that on TV. You will hear about things done negative towards people with of different sexual orientations but you don't hear about these little jacked up games you know that people play and guys i'm I'm gonna give you a warning majority of women that you see on like instagram uh tiktok and all that other stuff they're either bi or straight up lesbians i'm telling you even strip clubs okay that's that's, I'm telling you, trust me, <laughs> okay, uh, a lot of them are, okay, and the ones that aren't pr- are probably already attached to someone, most of them that I knew in the past, and I'm not putting them down, people do what they do, their boyfriends were almost like pimps, I mean, they didn't have to be pimps, but they were almost like, you know, you know, and they were really cool with how they exploited themselves. So it's each to his own. I'm not putting it down. That's your world. But you know, you got to understand. Uh, you got to watch your money. Okay, there's a lot of people out there, you know, they're after your money. You got some girl 20, 23 to 26 jiving off of you, and you're 60, you're like 57 to 60 years, years old overweight barely make uh ends meet with rent really either that's an undercover cop a narc somebody working for the fbi cia or something or a straight up gold digger man because come on women hit their sexual peak at the age of 45 and you in this 26 is trying to hit on a, a 57 or 50, uh, to 60 year old guy 
design weight shape so that by the time she gets to 45 and she has her sexual peak you, now are you serious come on do the math man i'm just telling y'all this so you don't get wrapped up even like i did you know uh you don't get wrapped up in situations in which you know they're taking your money you know you're giving a you're giving a hundred percent and they're giving you what six percent you know be careful out there and last but not least oh i think it's so funny how a lot of times women and 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 men do it too they put a person in a free uh, a friend zone and then they'll come back years later thinking that person's still there waiting on them okay wanting to give them <laughs> after they done did everything else they don't been a, si a size queen <laughs> done did the biggest guys in the world and it'll be like and for you it's gonna be <laughs> like throwing a hot dog down a hallway you know did all that okay or vice versa you know whatever uh they don't did all that now they're coming back to you <laughs> i'm gonna settle down no man no have self-respect for yourself have self-love okay your piece of cake should be good as good as anyone else's okay that they're gonna deliver give it to okay your piece of cake should be just as good as anyone else's okay don't don't put yourself down like that all right this is dalton it's dope my world and i want to throw that at you man and that this was a recent experience so <laughs> well i guess this <laughs> ignorant recent experience that i had did let me do a story time and hope to educate y'all and keep y'all's eyes out out there all right open you know what i'm saying all right peace <laughs>